Hi there, I'm John from Essex Wildlife Trust. And I'm Harriet. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how you can make a bee b and for your garden. Now like us, our bees are facing an unprecedented crisis, but there are things that we can all do in our own homes and gardens that can make a real difference, aren't there Harriet? One thing you can do is to make a bee hotel. That's right. And some of the other things you can do is plant bee-friendly plants around your garden, let parts of your garden grow a little wilder, but one of the really key things is to stop all unnecessary use of pesticides. That's something we can all do and all promote. Now like you, we're in lockdown, so we've only used what we've found around the uh, house and the garden and the garage and the shed. Um, what you'll need is a plank of wood, uh, preferably at least 10 centimetres wide, but 15 is better. A set square, tape measure, saw, screwdriver, some secateurs, some wire, and a really big power driver. You'll also need some garden canes or some other stems with, uh, that are hollow with holes in the middle. You can use bramble if you've been cutting that from your garden. Uh, and if not that, then uh, some uh, stems that you've cut of wood that you can then drill holes in for the bees if necessary. Now the holes they like are between three and five millimeters are ideal, but you can have varying sizes. You'll also need a responsible adult if you're a youngster like Harriet. Now the first thing you need to do is divide your plank into four so that you can uh, create a rectangle that you're going to put your stems in. Now you should try and clear up a bit of space for this part and once you've chopped up um, your four pieces there should be two small bits and two big bits and then you can sand off any hard edges and then you can make your box and it should look like that so far. Perfect. Next, if you get an adult to drill up to six holes in the top and bottom part, and then you're ready to screw it together. Once you've put it all together, you should end up with something like this. Very good. Now, if you want to make your box extra sturdy and you've got some spare wood, then it'd be really good to put a back on the box that will hold it all together and provide a bit more rigidity and also a bit more shelter for the bees when they're in there. Okay. If you need to tighten it up a bit at the end you can use a screwdriver. And here is um, the finished BBB. Is it called B? The B B and B. The B B and B, and uh, you should have a hole up here, which you can drill up to a wall, a tree, or a fence. And now all that's left to do is fill it up. Now, if you lay the box at a slight angle, it's going to be easier as you fill up with your sticks and your logs. It would be better if you put the biggest one at the bottom and then put a layer around it. And if you have a really thin one, maybe try and get it in there. Well there you have it, you get the general idea. We don't have time to finish filling it up with sticks and logs. Because we run out of sticks. Yeah, we have run out of sticks. It would never happen on Blue Peter. But I'll drill some more logs tomorrow and then we'll find a nice sunny wall or fence where we can hang it. That's all we've got time for today. Um, check out the website if you want uh, some more ideas for actions that you can undertake in your gardens for bees and butterflies and other insects. Don't forget to post your photos on uh, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Tag Essex Wildlife Trust and use the hashtag Wilder Gardens or Action for Insects. 
while you're at it, you can sign up for action, to take action for insects and receive your free action for insect guide. Until next time, stay safe, stay wild, and get, get out, out in your, your garden. gardens. Thanks a lot.